Hi everyone, welcome to Nikkei Tech Academy. In our today's session, we are going to learn replication task in IACS. In IACS, we do have different tasks. We have the mapping task, replication task, synchronization task, power center task, data transfer task, and masking task, and so on. So in our today's session, we are going to learn replication task. So if you have any questions on IACS on replication task, please add your questions and clarification in the comments. I will respond to it. Thanks for watching. Let us continue our session. So here I have one database. Here I have one database. So here I have source. You have the source and target. So replication task is used to replicate the data from here to here. For the replication task, so one difference is we are bringing the IACS here. So whatever the source we are going to have, so it will not replicate all the sources. So it will take sources like relational database table, and then it will go for Salesforce. These two only we can take. So relational database table, and then we can go for Salesforce connection. These two we can take. And then here we have, so in the target side, we can use relational database and we can create a flat file. So that's what we can replicate. So replicate task means we can, we, if you want to replicate, so if we want to take the backup, so we have the some data here. Here I have some other regions I want to replicate the data. So based on some filter conditions, we have to apply country equal to, then we have to replicate. So then we can create a replication task or we can go for some backup jobs. So backup workflow is running. So it will create a backup here and then it will load. So whatever the tables here we have, so that we have to replicate it here. So that's what we can go for. So in the replication task, so here I have many tables. If I want to replicate all the tables here, I can replicate. So for the replication task, you may or may not have that target table. Okay, that's uh, only uh, difference between the replication task and uh, synchronization task. Synchronization task, we need to have a table here. In the target side, we need to have a table, but replication task, no need to have the table. So first we will see the replication task, what is it? So use the replication task to replicate data to a target. So you might replicate data to backup the data or perform offline reporting. So whenever I want to go for some offline reporting, some materialized view we are, we are creating, right? So we are having server here. We have another server here. We want to create some materialized view. So normally we used to create, right? The same way here, I want to create a backup tables. Then offline reporting here, we have to take the reporting. Then you can go for the replication task. So this kind of thing, we can take it and we can go for replication task. Just I'm going to take if you take the replication task, I'm going with new. So task. So we have seen already mapping task. So just I'm going for replication task. So copy data from a Salesforce or database. Salesforce or database source to a database or file target. So as of now, they are providing this replication task only. Okay, this facility only. Maybe in future, they might be adding some other functionality. As of now, we have this concept only, okay? So just we are going to take replication task. So create it. So it has five steps. So for the new replication task, we have five steps, steps here. So just we can take replication task one. We can choose the location here, the, the folder, in the project, and then description. If I want to write some descriptions, okay, this is the replication task for these tables are flat platform okay but the source is it will take only the relational database connection and salesforce connection it will not take flat file connection remember this okay source we cannot take flat file for the replication task so just i'm taking the source connection so we can choose the sale source connection and the next option is so it will ask object to replicate we want to go for all the objects in this particular connection, no, I do not want all the objects. So I can go for include objects. So here we have the include object, right? So we can 
select whatever the objects we want to replicate. So click on select here. So it will select all the whatever the objects we have. So it has 16 objects right now. So for the 16 object, I have to create a replication task. All the 16 object I have to replicate. No, I want to go for some some particular tables. Okay, so I'm going for departments, employees, and locations. All this, these three I want to create. Yes, you can choose these three objects. So we can create a number of objects here. Then you can go for this is the order it will select. Then go for select here. So it will select these three objects. And if you want, okay, so you have 16 object. So out of this, these many object I do not want. Then you can exclude those object only. Then it will be excluded those object only. Remaining objects it will automatically replicate. Then we have one option. If an error occurs, so what I need to do? So if error occurs, so if it is replicating by its departments first or employees, do I need to come out of the replication task or I have to proceed with other task? Then you can go for next. So next year it will ask target definition here. So target connection. So we can choose here. As I told, the target might be a table and flat file. So just I'm selecting the table, table connection. So what is the prefix of this target table? So we have the source table. We have selected three tables. So for the source three tables, what is the prefix I need to give for target? So I'm just uh, making that RT replication something replication task it is creating prefix i'm just giving so enable bulk load so bulk load we know right informatica we have bulk load bulk load means so batch by batch data will get loaded so bulk load false means normal load one by one it will insert the data into the target table so that's what so by default bulk load will be false so load type so here we have the replication option so if you see here load type so we have different options incremental loads after initial full load. So very first time the replication task will go for full load. So if I have the tables here, three tables we have taken. So all the three tables has some data. So here I have thousands of thousand records here. I have thousand here. I have thousand. You assume that. So all the thousand will go for first day. Okay. So very first time it will go for all the thousand records. So next day you are scheduling it. No need to go for these thousand records, right? So whatever the record has been inserted newly, so that record alone we have to take. So for that, we have to have some audit columns. If you define the audit columns, the IACS itself, it will take what is the new record and then the new record alone, it will replicate here. So here we have the incremental loads after initial full load. So we can give. So as of now, we do not have this option for relational database tables only this option is available for salesforce connection okay this is not available for load type so it will be so every time it will go for full load only then this option okay so incremental loads after initial partial load so what is that initial partial load okay here i have 100 records or 1000 records so very first time i'm loading okay after this particular date whatever the data has been inserted or updated here so that record alone, I have to load. Okay. So some date we can mention. So it has loaded 500 data, partial data. So after this partial data, we can go for incremental load, whatever the new lead has been added. So we have five years of data. I do not want five years of data. I want last two one year data after that incremental data. So then you can mention that date from which date I want to go for. So initial load rows created or modified after this particular date so that we have to mention then iacs knows that okay whichever the date whichever the data is coming after this particular date it will pull the data for very first time after that it will go for incremental load so as of now for this options relational connections we have full load only so every time it will go for full load okay delete options so we have delete option remove deleted columns and rows if any record is getting deleted from the source or any columns. So previously we have 11 columns, but now they have after some times they have uh, removed some columns. So remove that column means I have to remove the column from the target. Yes. Then you have to give this option. Otherwise you can go for retain 
retain deleted columns and rows in the target. So we can go for this one. So as of now, this this option is available. It's, this option is not available for relational database table. Might be in future, they might be bringing it. Commit size. So commit size means, see, we know right Informatica, we have commit size. By default, we have 10,000. So every 10,000 record, we want to commit it. Yes, we, we can give here R1, 1, 1, 1 lakh or 1 million. So whatever the number we are giving, so every this many records, it will go for commit. Okay. So just I'm giving every 10,000 record. I'm just, I want to commit it. So this is the target option we have to give. Then go for next. Do we need to exclude the field? So you exclude field. So you can click on. So we have three objects, right? We have employees object. So for the employees object, do we need to have all the 11, object, 11 columns? Do we need to remove some columns here? Yes, if you want to remove the columns, then you can give. Say for an example, I want to remove the job ID from employees. Exclude that particular field. So this job ID field will not be available in the employees table, which while we are replicating. And departments. So in this departments, I, I do not want the manager ID. I want to remove this exclude field. Just you can give. So this will exclude the field. Okay, so from here, that's what it will go for. So you can add one more. So one more object. So from employees, you want to exclude. Yes. So from ex employees alone, you want to employees also, we have to exclude manager ID. Just you can mention. So two objects we are mentioning. These two fields will be execute, exclude from the replication. Then go for next data filters. In this data filters, so we have to mention that row limit. So process all rows. Say for an example, very first time it is going for the full row the full load replication, right? Full refresh. So do we need to go for all the rows? Yes. Or you want to go for some rows? Yes, we can give. Or we can go for some filter conditions here. So if you take employees table, if I want to apply some filter conditions here, so you can apply some filter conditions, okay? So I have to mention salary greater than 5,000. Yes, you can mention that. So greater than 5,000. So greater than 5,000 here. So that record alone, I have to make it, then you can go for, or I have to write some advanced conditions. You can click on advanced. So here you can mention that whatever the advanced condition we want. Okay. So commission percentage is not null. So you can go for under our conditions. You can write more classes here. So just I'm mentioning like only one filter conditions here. So if you want to add one more filter condition, you can add it here. Then you want to schedule this particular process or just one time. If it is one time activity, no need to schedule it. If you are going to do this task daily 7 a.m., the replication task should be running. It should take the backup of the table here in the, relay, the remote server. Then I can go for schedule it. So you can schedule it. So if anything goes wrong, do I need to get email notification? Yes, you can use the email notification here. So failure email notification, if any warning, yes, warning notification, success. So replication done for today. So replication failed. So please look into it. Something you want to give. So here it will generate the email. So it has been configured with cloud. So you can just try that. So it will get email notification, will get triggered. Say for an example, I'm giving just email notification. Okay. So here, so email notification to be sent. If it is success, so I can mention that success notification. So once it has been completed, so we will get the success notification here. So execution mode is standard mode. Verbose mode means it will take all the data. So it will, in the log, it will take all the data. It will write some huge log content. So if anything like goes wrong, you can go for verbose and then you can try, okay, which data is going for. But if you are enabling here itself, they have mentioned like it will create log with all the data, the performance wise, it will degrade. Okay. So that's what you can go for pre-processing command. So you can go for some uh, cell scripting command or anything. You can use it here. So maximum number of log files. So last 10 files, it will store. So you can go for finish. So we have done with all the replication tasks here. So we have done, uh, we have. We have given all the details here. 
So just I can go and run it. So as of now, if you see here, there is no table in the target connection. We do not have any table with RT underscore, right? But it will create now. So it has, the table has been created now. You can see, so two tables has been created now. So you can see here, it is running now. So three tasks. So click on the sub task. You can go inside. You can see here one by one it is running. So employees table, it has processed only 59 records. So departments table, it has taken all the records. Location also, it will take all the records, but the column will get excluded. So you can see here. So as of now two, right? Now one more table should be there. So RT underscore employees, the manager ID column is not there here, right? So only 10 columns are available. You can go to the data. You can see here the salary greater than 5,000 only. It will load here. So you can make uh, some ascending order. Then you will be seeing from 5,000 only, right? So 5,000 to all the records we are having up to 24,000. So that's what you can see all the data. So replicated for department also, we will not have the manager ID column, but it has replicated all the data here and locations. So like this, whatever the object we want to go and replicate, you can replicate it. So one more time, if I'm going to run it, so what will happen? So one more time, it will run. Okay, so it will run, it will create. So here I'm just going to, I, I will go and run. So here I will run it one more time. So it's running. So normally in real time project, we will go for incremental load, but this is for full load it is taking, okay? If the replication task is, that's what. If the target, we do not have any table, it will replicate. So you may have, or you may not have. So that's what, but synchronization task, you need to have a task, the target. I hope you are clear on the replication task, right? So whenever we want to create a backup, then we can go for replication task.